welcome to my bed, or not really it's that the couch. at all. And Cass is not here. I am is, not her. This is Jenna, actually. Um, Jenna has a wonderful blog called... Rain Whispers and Tea. And I read her all the time. She's actually in the sidebar, which is that way. Um, if you <laughs> look to your left on the webpage <laughs> and find her, um, you can read about strange things like tattoos of anthropomorphic hot dogs <laughs> or, or my little pony with tentacles also some just the knowledge that some human in the world is walking around with a tattoo of a my little pony with tentacles i don't even know i, just, I don't know I what that knowledge like, does why? to me and i told jenna that it was probably something akin to a hippocampus but but i she thought, didn't really know what i was talking yeah, about yeah i don't know i just the the image of it was nothing nothing mm, relating to any kind of mythical creature that um, should ever exist for so instead of vlogging from my bedroom um which is what you guys are pretty used to by now um we are in the music and dance building on campus it doesn't really look very music or dancey because there's wood paneling behind us yeah. but we could do a little jig there's that would... there's music happening over in room j right now um yes. the stimulus package is practicing for spring jam tomorrow which is pretty exciting spring jam's kind of a big deal i don't know who's performing do you know i no one i've ever heard of really because yeah. last year krs1 performed which is pretty rad, but like there are probably people bands that other people have heard of. They're yeah, just and just I haven't even looked at the schedule because I just don't care. But, but it anyway. will be raining all day tomorrow, so, so that will be delightful. Yeah, of they screen in glorious bastards tonight on the lawn in the rain. And they had a table of gushers, which I gushers. missed out on. I was pissed about this. I had not experienced a gusher in many years. No. I, my little brother still eats them, so whenever I go home to New Jersey, I'm like, dude, there are fruit snacks, and they are happening right now. It's like, Gushers are just like a, like a, a liquidy explosion of 90s is really yep. what a Gusher That's is. That's pretty much, it just makes me think of neon and high tops and like Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. I came up with a theory that Gushers are actually kind of related to sea monkeys in that they're ulterior. Just bear with me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm, I, they're, let's they're, go. Their ulterior motive is that there's like little animals in it and they the liquid inside is like the what they swim around in. And so then when you swallow it and you like open up the liquid, then it, it gets free in your belly. And then they, you have been telling me so many horrifying <laughs> things over the past few days. This That's girl, not a true thing. This, I just made no, that up. This, but it doesn't matter. It <laughs> continues to horrify me anyway. <laughs> she tells me last night we went to this truck stop diner. Um, it's it a good one. Exit 24 off of uh, 91 North, which in Massachusetts, which is the Waitley Diner. Fucking amazing food. Fantastic and very well priced and yeah. buckets of milkshake. Buckets of milkshake. Buckets. Like I literally drank nearly half a gallon of ice cream so through a straw. Much. It was beastly. Um, but also so really good onion rings. Amazing onion rings. Mm -hmm. And people who stare at me when I walk into a room, which I just get, I have to get used to it, because I don't know if you all can tell, but uh, I, have a, I have a mohawk now, and so that makes people uncomfortable, I have learned. <laughs> why? I don't know, I don't know why it's anyone's business but mine, but apparently I'm a spectacle now, so that's good. But anyway, so we're sitting at the diner, and Jenna's like, have you ever heard of coconut crabs? And I wish that there was like a picture in picture option right now, because I would I would urge you to bring up a window next to this one. From where now on, there's I think a I'm coconut just gonna, crab. From now on, I think I'm just gonna carry like a printout photo of a coconut <laughs> crab so whenever it comes up I can just sort of open it up. Yeah, and just be like <laughs> word. This is fucking ridiculous. They're basically they're like two to three feet long huge, like huge but only nine pounds crabs. they're only nine really? pounds it said they grew up to three feet long but only weighed not like up to nine pounds because they have which no means soul that they, it's, <laughs> that's why it's, it's the soul that's the heaviest no soul. <laughs> i mean they they look pretty soulless i demon spawn yeah come to mind so basically 
what I discovered about the coconut crab is that the, this article I, I found online was just saying, oh, these, this is the most evil and terrifying of, of nature beasts. And I was like, all right, they're just basically describing crab traits. Like, that's, <laughs> that's unfortunate, but I wouldn't really call that, like, the worst. But then in bold <laughs> letters, in all capital letters, it said, also, they ate Amelia Earhart. <laughs> Like and we were, and I was like, wait, excuse me, they and did what? It went on to elaborate that when they found the like ruins of Amelia Earhart's plane and her body, her <laughs> wait, what was the exact <laughs> sentence? Oh the I'm getting, I'm getting the sentence because I tweeted about it because I just oh, I couldn't. think it stops the video when you click out. No, it doesn't. Really? No, it doesn't. We're still filming. Okay. I'm totally serious. Um. Recent discoveries suggest that coconut crabs ate her flesh and hoarded her bones in their crab burrows. <laughs> so basically, what? yeah, when they found things, they found Amelia Earhart's bones hoarded in crab nests. I don't giant know, I just, like, crab, giant nests. crab nests. Like they are like 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 bigger than I can gesture to you because yeah. of the size of this window. Yeah. We need to make big slam gestures for like the size of yeah. these crabs. We can go. We can go more vertical than yeah, horizontal. Like just back like this, <laughs> like <a> crab. Oh. <laughs> anyway, it's not something you would want eating you. Is no, basically the I point. would not want to be eaten by crabs. Not not something you would want to be burrowing ever. your bones. <laughs> That's just oh, terrible. Like, and so Jenna's writing a poem about it. In in my poem, one of. The narrator is a giant. The crab. narrator crab. And um, I, I did a little research on the coconut crabs for the purpose of this poem, and I found that they, um, they like they outgrow their shells and then move into other things that they can whatever they can find because they're so freaking huge. Nothing else has a shell that big, <laughs> and so they just move into other things that could act as shells. Spare tires. Yeah. <laughs> so um, so just in my entire poem, holes of cars. Yeah. <laughs> One's rib cage. <laughs> Yeah. In oh my, my God. poem, it, please um, make one live in her rib cage. That would that would work. But in my poem, the, the main the narrator crab moves into her skull, so that's gonna happen. And it hears the the sounds of bird calls. Yeah. So, so that's gonna maybe happen. Jenna will special guest star again on the video blog and read <laughs> us that poem. Yeah, if it comes out Perhaps. as intended. Um. Speaking of writing, I. I am delirious today because I have literally for the past week been unable to sleep and writing at very odd times of night. Like, I'll come home from work at like, maybe like five, like hang out with my roommate, like maybe watch like an episode of America's Next Top Model, which this season, I don't know what the fuck is going on, and that's that's something to discuss when Cass is here, but um, I'll take a nap around like six which is like who takes a nap at six o'clock at night i wake up at like eight thirty nine. i took a nap at six the other day it was very confusing because that's exactly the time where you go to sleep when it's light out and wake up when it's dark yep and then you're just like i don't know where it's i am pretty terrifying hey is the stimulus package oh man i don't know if you all can hear the noise coming from the corner of, of over that yonder <laughs> and but one of the Hampshire bands, the stimulus package, is in the practice room making some noise. I think we mentioned before they're practicing for Spring Jam tomorrow. They are playing 99 Red Balloons earlier, um, but now the door is open and like I hear, hear Jacques commanding the band. Yes, that's happening. It is. It's real. We might have to leave. Sure. I mean, we're not leaving for another 45 minutes, yeah. but we might have I to... I monitor until 2 o'clock in the morning every Friday night. Party! So, you know. <laughs> so, if you don't have anything to do... Yeah, stop by the Music and Dance Building. And, uh, edit Between 10 and 2. With yeah. us. We should probably just have a live radio feed every Friday night from 10 from to 2. Here. From here. We could do that. Yeah, we should Maybe. talk to Andy about it, get it broadcast at the yurt. That'd be cool. Cause who wants to have a radio station going from ten o'clock at night? Like I don't, I can't conceive of any other Hampshire student who wouldn't yeah. be out drinking right now. I have a friend at um, Ithaca who has a radio station at four in the morning. Like his show starts at four a.m. That's kind of amazing. <laughs> it's a hip hop show. I would love. And he's this. like the whitest kid ever. It's pretty like. 
fantastic. So, we have to get going. Speaking of time, I, I don't know. It's a weird time of night. It's the kind of time where you have to make a choice about whether to stay awake or whether to go to bed. And I'm a little torn, so I, I leave you, I leave you with that, the uncertainty. Will I sleep? Will I not? Why are we in a room full of wood paneling? I don't understand. Wouldn't it be interesting if we found out that uh, the wood paneling behind us was actually a hardwood floor and we were just sideways this whole time? What? There's a lamp in the know. floor!